All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Chinese Tiangong Science Space Station, which is being made by forum user 54ZNZN, and what this glorious little parts pack looks to add into the game is a pretty nice little selection of parts, to allow you to build the Tian Gong Science Space Station, which is of course China's first space station, which is still up in orbit today. Uh, I believe it was supposed to be deorbited like a year or two ago, but they decided against that and are continuing to use it for experimental purposes, which hey, if it's already up in orbit, why not keep using it? And of course, it is quite a historic craft, because, well, as I did mention, it was China's first space station and their sort of testbed platform for hopeful future stations. So it's quite cool, in my opinion, to see it here in the uh, Kerbal Space Program. So let's just jump right on into the VAB and take a look at the parts which make this lovely little space station possible. Now, this is a pretty small parts pack, only six parts in total right now. And uh, the first of which we're going to have a look at is in science, which I kind of think is a little bit odd of a placement for this, but yeah, we can live with it here. Uh, and the first part that we're going to have a gander at is the uh, Tian Gong Command Center. Now, this is an unmanned command pod, which uh, does require 4.8 electricity per minute, has a lovely little reaction wheel, SAS, a pretty sizable battery of 5,000 electric charge, and also does hold 270 liquid fuel. 200 monopropellant and 300 oxidizer if we pop this thing in here is pretty beautifully modeled I really do like the look of this thing pretty good texturing as well not quite stock alike but it's kind of in that weird place in between stock alike and semi realistic but still very good work on it I do quite enjoy it and uh, then yes this is sort of the main command section of it as I did mention an unmanned command pod so if you don't have any Kerbals on board the station it can sit there quite nicely in orbit and just do what a robotic station does. Now if you do want some crew you'll need the Tian Gong crew capsule here which is a science lab which requires of course one crew member at the very least but can have a capacity of up to three and if we pop that in there fits nicely on the top section and again a very nicely done model very nicely done texturing I love the little details here of the little pipes going between sections very very cool indeed uh, the one downside is the interior. It's using the stock sort of interior for uh, the MPL, Mobile Processing Lab, so it doesn't have its own. I would have preferred that, but this is still a mod in early-ish development, uh, so hopefully a nice internal view will come in the future. I would quite enjoy that. Now, the last piece that we have in here in the science section is the Tiangong antenna, which if we pop this thing onto here, there we go, a beautiful antenna that we can extend extend and pop excellent we now have that lovely little antenna good to go to transmit data back to earth now the next set of parts we have up in utility and there are two parts in here the first of which being the Tiangong docking port which has a capture range of 0 0.06 and an undock ejection force of 10 and if we pop it onto the top there it is quite a nice little docking port uh, very nicely modeled if we zoom on in here it's uh, similar to some others that we've seen that have the little, uh, oh god, I, I actually did look up what the names of these are, but I've already forgotten the sort of interlocking teeth that you would have for a caps uh, to uh, actually dock between things. So, you know, you'd uh, sort of have the interlocking teeth on the other side as well, and that's how they fit together. Oh god, I can't remember the name of those. That is gonna bother me, but oh well, hopefully one of you in the comments will remember. But yes, a pretty nice little docking port. Now the uh, second piece that we have here in utility is of course the solar panels that go with it, and I quite like these things. Now I believe on the, oh god, I meant to zoom out, on the proper space station, they are sort of down here at this section, and if we expand them out, a very, very nice looking solar panel. I kind of like that it's slightly off kilter. It's not perfectly straight out. It does sort of angle back a bit. I don't know why, but that just slight oddity to them. It 
it makes me happy. It's not just straight out from the side like our typical solar panels are. And yes, that is the two parts that we do have in uh, the utility tab. Now, uh, lastly, we have in the engines tab one singular part and the last part in this pack. And it's a um somewhat slightly overpowered engine in my opinion. It is our TG engine here, which if we just pop that thing on the bottom, why did I swing around so far? But uh, yes, there we go, a lovely little engine with two tiny little nozzles. And uh, yeah, it's fairly freaking powerful. This tiny little engine has a max thrust in atmosphere of 120, a vacuum of 200, and uh, engine ISP of 270 atmosphere, 450 vacuum, and consumes fuel at 4.079 per second liquid and 4.985 per second oxidizer. It does have some gimbling and of course the usual alternator. But that's a pretty powerful freaking engine, considering comparable size would perhaps be somewhere around the Terrier, which is just a fraction of the thrust on this thing. So I don't know, maybe uh, I just, I don't know how powerful the actual engine is on the Tian Gong, so I, I don't know if that is accurate, but it just seems slightly overpowered for the game to me. But still, a nice little engine, uh, fairly simplistic, uses fairly standard particle effects for it but overall a good addition to the space station as a whole. So yeah, those are the six different parts that make up this uh, lovely little parts pack. So let's go and take a look at it fully assembled out in orbit where I have built a uh, replica of the Tian Gong 1 station, which is of course what this whole mod is about. So let's go and fly it and there we are, a beautiful little space station just sitting out here in orbit. Let's sort of uh, get it in line there. Beautiful. I do like, uh, I really do like this look of these docking ports. Very, very cool. Now, sadly, we don't have, oh god, what's the, what's the Chinese capsule called? Shen, Shenzhou? I, I think that's what it's called. My pronunciation is probably completely awful, but yeah, I think it's called the Shenzhou is there their orbital craft that docks with it. I wish we had one of those to dock here, but sadly, not in this parts pack. I have seen them in some others. Perhaps I should take a look at those at some point in the future. But yes, a lovely little station. We have our antenna pointing well away from Earth, but oh well, it's at least up and able to transmit. Again, I love the solar panels and the slight tilt that they do have to them. Uh, we got these lovely, weird little nodules on this part. I don't know what those are for exactly, but I like them. I like them. And, of course, our little engine, which if we fire up real quick, boom, pretty standard particle effects, but overall a quite nice engine. And as I did mention, just the uh, regular interior for the mobile processing lab. Again, hopefully a custom interior, interior will come in the future, but for now... You know what, the mobile processing lab is a damn nice interior, so I don't mind in the slightest having that in there. But yes, that is, well, really it for this mod pack. It is, of course, a small pack of only six parts, so not a whole lot to show off. But that is, once more, the Chinese Tian Gong Science Space Station parts pack. And if you would like to give it a try for yourself and build yourself a lovely network of Chinese space stations, you can download it from the link in the description. And I do hope you check it out. Perhaps make a larger space station structure out of multiples of these. That might be nice looking, but yes, I do hope you do give it a try, and of course, I do hope you have enjoyed this episode, and that you do hopefully come back for the next, when we will be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.